Hey guys and girls, Joshua here, and today I want to help you guys and girls create your free icon or free logo that you can use with our video production hub. Now this is very, very quick and very, very easy to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Google straight away and type in free fonts. Now the reason why we want to do this is that we want to find a unique font that's not your standard that you'll find on Word or Excel or in PowerPoint or anything like that. We want to find a unique font that speaks to you. So what you can do, you can go to free fonts in obviously Google and there is a lot of different kind of um, font places that you can actually go to. For this tutorial, we're just going to go to the first one, which is 1001freefonts.com. And when we're in here, we can obviously see what we want our logo or font to appear. So type in obviously your business name and then click update. Now I know for a few people, black is not going to be your color. So if black isn't your color, um, obviously change it. You've got the text color here. You can obviously change there, put, put everything in there. Um, but what we're going to do, black, since black is my color, we're just going to pick something that I know that I usually like. I usually like sans serif or serif, you know, um, script scripting. So let's go there and let's find something that speaks to us or speaks to me. And as you can see, these are some, some nice fonts that would be great even for obviously your own video production, but even maybe for clothing or, or even anything that you want to put out there. So just pick something that you think that you like and that you would like to have. Now, one thing I would obviously like to mention is when you're choosing a font for your brand, make sure it's a nice font, a legible font. I'll show you what I mean, because if we go to top fonts, maybe, what we can see is some scripting. It's a bit hard to read and that's absolutely fine, but you want to have a font that represents your brand as well. So something like this, Probably not what you want to have, but it looks a little, little bit childish. Um, it doesn't look professional. It's not clean. You want something clean. Same with this. It doesn't look clean. It looks cool maybe, but it's not clean. And this kind of scripting is great for, I guess, you know, writing a blog or putting something on a icon, but not for a font logo, I don't think. So something like this, we might want to put bootcamp there. Um, it might look a lot nicer but probably not for a font or your brand logo. And this is obviously the Disney script, probably, you know, looks a little bit childish as well. So go through this, browse through it. As there's more than a thousand and one free fonts, I'm pretty sure on this, but find something that you like and that you would like to use as your font. Now, a bit of a word of warning, some of these logos, they're not for commercial use. You'll be able to see that some are for only personal use. Um, but usually if you find the designer who they are, you can actually buy the commercial rights to use it. And it's not that expensive. So once you've found a font that you like, I'm just going to find something quickly just for the purpose of this. We want to go download. It will then download and all you need to do is then install it. You double click on it and it will install into the font file of your computer. Once it's then installed, you can then start creating or using that font for your own use. So I'm going to create a quick font logo for my business. You've probably seen it. It's the same one I'm going to be using, but show you how I did it. So let's just go text and my brand is smarter PT. Okay. Now there it is. Now that's pretty boring. Now let's just copy that. And let's paste it. So you can see where I'm going with this. Now you can obviously see there's a few different, you can obviously use the inbuilt fonts here as well. Maybe something like that. What else? Let's go to maybe that. They're, they're cool in, in their own way. You might want to use this. This might want to be your brand logo. I don't know, but personally I like to get something that's not stock standard. Um, and that's why I got myself this which is, where is it, Quizma. That's something that I personally bought. Um, I've got the commercial rights to it. But still, that's pretty boring. It's pretty stock standard. It doesn't really stand out. So what I've obviously done, which you guys and girls can probably see, is I've changed, obviously, the PT to a different color. So quickly gonna do that. 
and now you can see that the PT is a different color. But that's still not the way. I still think it's a bit boring. So what I've gone ahead to do is make it in italic. But also, I wanted to make sure that the italic was smaller for smarter and PT was a little bit more bold. So I just went to a light italic like that. And that's probably the logo that you guys and girls see. It's not obviously a wow logo, but it's a simple, smart logo that we can obviously use for any video production or anything that you want to use, even on your website. But I know a few people would like to have an icon as well. So you can obviously go to Google as well and type in icon um, or free icons. I've got it here. This is the icons that we can obviously come to. Flat icon, you can obviously purchase the commercial rights and everything as well to use it for obviously your business. Now, I like to, you know, if, if my name is smarter or smart, I obviously want to take, I want to see what's something around the smart icons. <laughs> so all you need to do is click on the icon that you think will represent your brand. Um, we're just going to do this for fun. So let's just, let's find something cool. Okay, cool. Let's just grab that guy. As you can see, this one, I can obviously download straight away. We're going to do it as a PNG file or PSD, depending on which program you're wanting to edit in. I do everything in Keynote. It just makes it a lot easier. Pick the color you want. I'm just going to choose black for this. And the size, I'm just going to do 256. Now, as you can probably see, if I'm going to be using this without paying for it, I have to credit the author. And I believe so. If you do it this way, you can't actually use it for commercial rights. If you want to go for a premium download, you can obviously do it there. Then you can obviously use it for commercial rights, I believe. But since I'm just doing this as a demo, I'm going to thank you, obviously, the person who's doing this. Um, but it's going to download it very quickly. Make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. So now we've got our icon that we want. Now, to put this icon or this, I guess, this logo that we've just created, to put it in a way that we can use it for our videos, we need a transparent background, okay? If people... If you don't know what I mean, it means that the background has to be clear that you can see through it. So for example, let's just do this. I'll show you what I mean. Let's do that. And now, if we go to open it, you can see that that is the transparency of the background, but there's a white background around it. So if I load this to a video, you're going to see the white background as well. We don't want that. We want everything to be see-through besides the text and the, obviously the icon. So to do that, all we need to do is go to Keynote again. You might need to make it obviously a little bit bigger as well. So let's just delete these. Let's make it 100. And let's get, oops, let's get the little light bulb. Make it a little bigger, there we go. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this like that. So select it all, then you can go file, I mean, sorry, edit, copy. Now this is obviously for um, Mac, I'm not too sure the PC way of it, but we can go to preview. And once you're on preview, as you can probably see I'm on preview now, we wanna go file, new from clipboard, and as you can see now, there's no white that appears there. We just go File, and we go Save, and we can go to New Smarter PT Logo, and go Save. And guys and girls, that's how quick and easy it is to get yourself your own logo that you personally designed for a fraction of a cost. If you guys need any help regarding any of this, you know where to find me.